I'm going to show you how I manage ads during our game broadcasts. In a perfect world, uh, you would sell ads for specific slots and you'd have someone managing when those ads appeared and how often and keeping track of all that. As a one-man show, I just don't have the capacity to do any of that. And so when we're dealing with ads, it's more loosey-goosey. Um, and so, for example, we have our ads and this is this is just a list of our ads some of them are actual paid ads some of them are uh, house ads some of them are PSAs just kind of for fill in time because we don't sell every available time slot um, and what I have is this ads list.txt file and in that is a list of the ads in the order that they're going to be played now I said we're loosey-goosey so whatever is the first ad in this list isn't always first for every game. It just kind of rotates so wherever we're left off in the previous uh, previous game or previous time we, we ran this. And so the way this works is we've got this D3 develop ad. Uh, after that one runs and the maps will run, then this one and so on and so forth. And if we have paid ads that need to be uh, viewed more than maybe a PSA, that ad may be in this list more than once so that it, it, it shows up more frequently than um, than any of the you know the other ads, and uh, let's let's show you how that works in in vMix. In vMix, I have basically a list input with just one ad, and I have a script that will run that will remove this ad and add the the one from the top of the list here, and then it will remove this one and so on and so forth and just kind of cycle through the list. And so let's see how that that actually works in practice. So we'll let we'll go ahead and run this ad, and you'll see right here. There's our single ad. When this gets to the end, it's going to transition to uh, preview, and you can see now D3 develop is in there. And so the next time we run that ad, it's going to be a different one. And again, when that gets to the end, it's going to transition out, and you'll see. Uh, now that maps is ready for the next time uh, we need to run a commercial and if we need to run more than one what we can do is just put that input in preview and so when it gets to the end it's going to transition and there we go and so that will just run uh, in forever it'll just kind of leap through uh, uh, through each one and you can see uh, there we are now you can see the rams coming up there's the PSA, that's what's playing now. We already heard maps, so on and so forth. And so the way this the way this all works is with triggers in a script. So let's let that transition out and let's look at the triggers on this input. Um, we got a normal transition on. We're getting rid of the overlays. We're going to fade down the vol the main volume, and now um, on completion. So once that ad is completed, we're going to fade to black, we're going to start the script, we're going to cut, and then we're going to unfade to black. And the reason we do that whole fade to black thing is because when uh, the change of inputs, when, when I'm changing ads in that, in that list input happens, it's not exactly lined up with the cut. And so you may see it may happen just before the cut, it may happen just after the cut. Um, it, and so it, it's a possibility that you'll see that next ad uh, before the transition happens. And so when we fade to black, we do that and then unfade to black. And so that just kind of hides that. And you can see there's a couple little delays in there to do that. And so let's look at uh, let's look at that actual that script. And so um, here here's the, the the gist of the script. And um, I can define my uh, my ad my text file. I can define what what is the name of the the list input. Uh, I can actually define how many ads are in that list. And so, for example, I could um, say, well, every time I run that, it's going to be two ads. And so it will run two ads, transition out, and then put the next two ads in the list and pop those to the bottom line. I don't really do that. It's usually just it's usually just one ad that we we play at a time. Um, and because this is all happening in a script, one of the other things I can do is that I can actually log uh, what is happening. So, for example, if I go into this logs folder, I can look at this log from today, and I can see, there you go. Those are those are the ads.
that that we that you just saw us, us play through and so where that comes in handy is if because things are kind of loosey-goosey with our ads if there's ever a question like hey how many times did this such and such sponsor actually run we can go back and look you know so for example i can go back and to this log from a couple days ago and i can see there you go so there are all of the ads we ran during that event and i can search for them let's just say well, i want to know uh grand so there we go so i can look for the grand and those are all the times that the grand hotels ad was run i can see at what time it was run and uh so i can compile some information if i wanted to like it is not detailed statistics but they could be um they could easily be you know parsed or uh i could define this as csv files and they could be imported into other things and whatnot but for us this is just good as just a way to to easily look back and say hey how many times was an ad run or, or let's look at how many times we're playing paid ads versus you know whatever and so to me that is just uh super handy and it's it's one of those things where as a one-man show i can not have to worry about figuring out what ad is playing next like oh did we play this ad no we got to play this ad. i don't have to worry about that it's just, and i don't have i don't have an input for every single ad that we play in vmax you know we you know you saw all the ads that we had that that could be you know 15 inputs in vmix taking up all that space i don't need to mess with that um so i've got just uh just one ad input just one input in vmix that i can when i need to play an ad i transition to it if i need more than one i can put it in preview and so that comes in uh in handy during a basketball game where uh we go to like oh this is going to be a, a a 60 second timeout so we go and i put it in i put it in preview and play by play person comes back and like hey can we come out of this early i got stuff to say well i can just pull it out of preview and i play a 30 second ad or it could be we're going to play a 30 second ad and something happens it's like hey can we extend that i just add it to preview and now i just play another ad and so it's super simple for uh for me to manage breaks and ads and getting that stuff uh in the broadcast without thinking about what gets played when and so uh i will link to the the gist file uh on github with with this with this script and uh if you have any questions let me know